Hey YouTube, coming at you with another single typing cup around Meganium. And Meganium, in my opinion, is probably one of the top three Pokemon in this meta, in my opinion. I think Hofgrigus is, uh, is, is like number one because it's just everywhere and it's so strong. Uh, but Meganium has got a mixture of bulk with a Vine Whip fast move, which is great charging, and a Frenzy Plant charge move, which basically two shots everything. Uh, so it's just a great Pokemon to use. So basically how I wanted to use this team was... Put a Pokemon in the lead. This is just for fun with Luxray. Don't use Luxray. It's so bad. It's so bad. But basically, I wanted to use Pokemon on the lead that can grab shields because Meganium and Kofferigus, both shields down, are just like deadly, right? So that was the thought process behind the team. I would use, actually, I do have a, this back line again with a different Pokemon coming up eventually. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see, these cross traps are absolutely destroying this Pokemon. Uh, I do manage to grab a shield and lower their defense, so job done. The back line realistically should sweep anything. <laughs> it's just such a strong combo. They come in with uh, Clefable, that is fine. I just want to get one Shadow Ball off. I may sh I don't need to shield, but I may shield. Yeah, and then get the Shadow Ball off. So we're mad even shields. I c like, the game can do well against the... Um, and I mean, they're going to commit to the full claw or... I'm going to, I could probably just commit to the full claw at this point. It's so low. They're not going to get to another move. I can easily live that. See what's in the back. Even if it's another fairy, like we're in a good situation here, right? The shadow balls are going to chunk, whatever it is. Could be a gramble. Yeah. Not surprising. Double fairy team. Get the shadow ball off. They're likely to shield if it's a, sh is it's a uh, shadow. And this is where... It now does not matter. <laughs> it does not matter what you have. Meganium with a shield advantage. I mean, I mean, you get a fire, but I can land an earthquake on a fire. So it really does not matter. Uh, and then Frenzy Plant is going to one-shot the Machamp from this range. It's going to take care of the Gramble from the rest of the range. It's just The Frenzy Plant is such a hard-hitting move that the only thing that can la last more than two is Umbreon in this meta that I've, went, uh, that I've gone against. I mean, unless there's resisted, but that's that's the obvious uh, answer there. So in this matchup, I'm just going straight wild charge early because I know that I'm probably going to need to shield anything anyways because I'm going to be taken out. So might as well just throw that in case they do try and just go zap cannon to lower my attack, which is exactly what they do. Uh, they do not get it though. So I'm going to build up a ton here, throw the wild charge here. If, like, if I take them out, that's fine, because I'll, I'll have a bunch of moves for the other one. If I don't, which is what happens here, I'll be taken out. But now I can just come and, again, Kofgarigus, Meganium, with energy or shield advantage, are just so, so hard to deal with. So full farm down, not much damage, loaded with move. Here comes another fairy. Here comes one Shadow Ball. This will probably do it well over 50. So that's kind of tanky. Um, I know I can live, uh, I was gonna say, I know I can live one. I think I commit to the full farm down at this point. Yeah. I know I could take a move here, but I just feel like if you have Kofferigus on the back, I'm going to take you out now with ease. If you have another fairy, I'm now going to have two shadow balls to take you out plus a Meganium. So shield advantage, energy advantage. These two are just way too too tough to deal with here. So another double fairy line. Does not matter. Goodbye. Didn't even need to use the Meganium this line. This is one where you're going to get out CMP'd here. So I'm going to shield knowing that I go 5-4. So I go 5-4 here. So if they want to shield, I'm going to get to another one. And if they don't shield, it's going to it's gonna hurt yeah so it takes them pretty low out comes the mew i go for the bait i remember this i go for the bait thinking like it's a wild charge of course they're gonna shield from a attack heavy pokemon and then farm down they do not shield so i was like okay that's unfortunate <laughs> that is really unfortunate so they wild charge but i'm like okay now that there's two times lower plus one times lower is three times lower uh you can take a wild charge with ease from the copagrigus non-stab i've done that in the first first team i played so that is fine. Come out with energy. The, the Surf Edge is low. So they need to come, this back Pokemon. Unfortunately, this back Pokemon is 
uh, Cough Grievous. So there's one shield. Hopefully I can just grab one more. I do not, which is unfortunate. Um, I can live a Shadow Ball, obviously, but I'm gonna shield because that would do the most damage. I don't think they can live a Frenzy from this range. No, not with all the not with all the Vine Whips. So I'm gonna get to a Frenzy before they get to two moves to take me out. So I'm expecting some sort of catch here. Throw the Shadow Ball. I think they're gonna claw and then try and catch this Frenzy. So I'm aware of that. I gotta commit to the full farm down. Get the full farm down. One HP. The 212, 12, 212, 12, 14. Coming in handy there. Frenzy for the win. That's just being aware that they're sort of. It was close, but it was kind of like one of their main win conditions was to make that catch there. I could. T I mean, this is a little less scary because you know they have wild charge. Well, you don't know they have wild charge. I assume they have wild charge, so I don't shield any flame charge. So I'm like, okay, that's actually not great, but. Two, I'm at two wild charges here. So throw one. Almost takes it out. And then at this point, I'm like, you know what? Almost takes it out. I know I could take a move here. I'll just farm a ton so that I'll have a dark pulse coming out. If the play rough, that actually hurt quite a lot. But I'll have a dark pulse coming out. If, if the Mew comes in, I'm going to grab shields here. And then again, shields down, Meganium should be able to wipe up most things in the back here. I could shield and grab the last shield, but I don't know how much energy they have. I have a wild charge stored, and this is, yeah, I remember what I did here. I have a wild charge stored. So I'm like, you know what, let's just take this out. Or if they have energy and are boosted, they're going to want to shield. But then if that's the case, uh, I'll shield up flame charges. But Meganium 2 shield for 0. I don't care what Pokemon you have in the back. Uh, you're going to have a tough time <laughs> here. Uh, I don't want to take any other moves. So I throw a Frenzy and good catch on the Melmetal. So this is resisted. Uh, I can take a Rock Slide. I can take a Super Power. I don't need to worry about that. I need, need to come out with as much energy as I can. Uh, so Frenzy probably won't take out from here. I'm just going to make sure that I take this out with Earthquake. And then if they have another move, I will have another shield and I will get to a frenzy before they get to two moves here to take this out. So shield this, frenzy for the win. So Meganium, Bulk, Vine with Frenzy Plant, deadly combo. Uh, so yeah, Coffer Gius, Meganium, super great. Don't use Luxray, use something else. I will show you what I used um, Tuesday or Wednesday. How many teams do I have? Maybe, maybe Tuesday afternoon. And then I will try keep going. Again, I feel like there are, I can name five Pokemon right now that I think are generally super safe. And I, my team with these two is called a safe team. Um, and it's basically Coverius, Meganium. I think Ninetales, I'm not gonna, I'm not even giving you the Pokemon that I used. Uh, but Ninetales I think is safe. Muck is safe, and I think, did I say Lickitung? Lickitung, Muck, Meganium, and Ninetales are the five that I think are probably the safest in this meta. So I am very comfortable using those five in some combo, um, two plus a random third you can do. Like I said, I have a Shadow of Machamp coming out, I think, tomorrow. Shield this, farm. Coming out with move for a Vigoroth. And again, like this is just so, <laughs> this is probably a bad matchup for the Vigoroth, even shields, I mean, even shields and energy. And it is much, much worse when I have that much more energy. Actually, the counter body slams add up pretty quickly, so I don't know. But with these, Dragonair. So this is why I would also not run Luxray. You are double weak to Dragonair, right? Electric is resisted and Grass is resisted. So it's like, oh, this is a flaw in the team and Luxray sucks. So I, I think I end up switching it next matchup. Um, just because it's 
it, it yeah it's not good and it, it was a huge flaw for this team so they have a bunch of energy i lowered their defense so i can f claw down but these dragon breaths are adding up so I'm, I'm at a big disadvantage i'm now behind on um and they have vigoroth and vigoroth is not a great answer to kofagrigus here I know what they're thinking, like, Shadow Claw, double resisted, they can only throw Dark Pulse, like, yeah, but Counter, also very resisted, Body Slam resisted, you need to throw Bulldoze, and if I shield up one, that's a lot of energy gone, but now I think they just run two shield was ever in the back for them, and they're going to win this one. So, what I, I think I put in Muck, um, which is not the Pokemon I used on this team that you're going to see again, maybe tomorrow, but... Um, I think I put Muck in here as, as the third different one because you can do fine against dragons, you have the Dark Pulse for the Cuff Grigus. Um, yeah, overall just safe Pokemon in this meta. So there's a few, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's any other. I think those five that I named are probably the safest. Umbreon, I don't think so with all the Charmers and Fighters in this league. Um, Registeel is interesting. There's not as many fighters as I thought because of what I said. I don't know when I said it this morning, the other day, that every single team has at least one to two fighting answers on it. It's Kofagrigus and a fairy, uh, Hypno. Just a lot of people have answers to fighters, so. I don't mind running Registeel because you can just easily pair it with like two answers to a fighter and Registeel otherwise is do it does great. Um, yeah, I, I mentioned the other day about um, on my Sunday video with Nine Tails, I mentioned that I wanted to use um, Samurott, but it has a Fury Cutter fast move. And then I'm also looking at the rankings Fury Cutter on Pinsir and Lorantis. But Fury Cutter is resisted by Steel? Fighting, Ghost, and Poison. And it's like, that's the meta. <laughs> like that's, that's the meta. So I I don't think I can bring myself to using Pokemon that have a Fury Cutter fast move. I also am finding it difficult to bring Pokemon that are weak to Fairy. Because it seems like Double Fairy is a thing uh, that was on my team this morning, I think. Um a lot of Pokemon, a lot of like at least one fairy on the team. So I'm, I, I, I don't really want to use Dragonair. Um, how is Kofagrius ranked 22? Like that's insane. Grimer, yeah, I've seen a few Grimers. I don't have the XL, um, one, so I'm not using Grimer. Nine Tails, like I said, is good. Meganium is good. I haven't tried Dawn Fan yet. I just think there's, too, again, there's too many things that are looking for counter users. I also tried using Charm on it with one, and it was just so bad. Just use, just use a fairy if you're going to use Charm. Um, and I tried Politoed on one team. I didn't stick with it. I may go back to it. I think the problem was that you just got, like, out. You guys got beat up by the fighters, and the dragons resisted water, and the, the fairies just out like charmed you i think for the most part yeah there's actually not many wins for polytoad so that's unfortunate and then we're going into like 50 plus here so yeah i think this meta has condensed a lot um i think it's just some mixture of the five safe things i talked about um you could go like umbreon, umbreon and dragonair and stuff like that plus all the fairies I really think that's kind of like the limited meta you're seeing right now. So just trying to figure out how to best maneuver. And maybe I'll do like a, because this is on for two weeks. So maybe I'll do like a one week review on Thursday morning. Being like, hey, this is on for another week. This is what you should consider. Um, but yeah, but that was it. So I appreciate watching. Appreciate thumbs up and comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.